My name's Tim Helsing. I'm very, very tired. I've spent the last year chasing my demonically possessed girlfriend across the country to stop her from killing everything in sight. I know this thing's only doing this to get at me. I mean, why wouldn't it? It's lived inside me for however knows long. What am I doing here? I don't have time for this. I really don't know how I'm supposed to swing this with the man upstairs. I mean, I promised him no more court cases. How are we going to sweep this under the f***ing rug? Can you smell that? What bat larynx is it? Pick up the optic new no, fluid. No, 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 no. I know what bat larynx smells like. This is. Get in the car. Why? Just get in the car. Oh, oh God! What the f*** is going on? Oh, Helsing! You little bitch! Long time, no nothing! We've decided that the best course of action for everyone involved, first, you die. And then we open that car like a tin of tuna and open every last thing inside. No seasoning! Hello, boys. Tim Helsing, where the frack have you been? No, Chris, I don't want to play Star Wars today. My name is Timothy Ronald Helsing, the first, and I am fucking furious that this shit is happening again. Why is he all floppy and shit? Um, he's not had a lot of sleep. Are you Timothy Helsing? What if he is? Do you mind? I'm talking to him. <laughs> Martin Rogers, Red Shirt Production. <laughs> oh, my f***ing <laughs> face! Seven. Nine. Eight. His face made a comedy honk when it bounced off the steering wheel. Eight and a half. Right. My legs! My legs aren't working. Oh, ah. Nice of you to step away from your suicide quest to find Anna. Anna? Where? Oh, you. Yeah. Where did you come from? I'm here to clean up your mess, you little Let's prick. Pay attention. You might not want to die in the next five minutes. Hey, will you get back in the car now? If I'm dying, you're dying with me. They really don't teach you how to deal with this kind of shit at film school, but I don't know what to do. I'm so out of my fucking element. I'm really sorry. I've changed my mind. Could you get out of the car, please? I just want to be alone. But I just get out of the oh. fucking car, buddy! Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh. 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 No, I'm done.
Jessica Ravenholm, or Jess, Jess is fine. I love monster hunting, werewolves, mermen, bandersnatches, whatever. Oh, my hobbies no. are... No. 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 I think we don't have time for this. Just in the nick of time, eh? Yeah. Oh. You okay? I'm good. You gonna introduce me to your friend? Oh, we're we're not, not friends. friends. Oh, look at him. Walking away, sulking and brooding. You see, I say you're a big man, but you've got really tiny fucking hands, like a child, for works at a circus and gives out. I don't know. Fuck off. Fuck off. What are you doing? Tim! No, Tim! Don't go! Don't leave me! No, Tim! No! It's your vote, Bernie! Oh, your vote! You bastard! You fucked me! What are we gonna call? What are we gonna do? Not rain, that's for sure. You'll use your nuts like baubles on his Christmas tree. That was very vivid. Hang on. Anyway, this has been like the most amazing day ever. But I've got to log off now to Tim's. I know. Farewell, my little blog kittens. As much as it pains me to ask a fan for help. You seem to know what you're doing. What are we supposed to do? Where do we go? Ah, uh, there's only one place you can go now. Anything but this. Anything but him. You join me outside the flat of Richard B. Timmons, documentary filmmaker and former one-time director of I Am Tim. I'm here to ask for his help. I've got nowhere else to go. Who is it? No solicitors, it's a bloody sign! Not solicitors, look. I just want to speak to Mr. Timmons. What do you want to speak to him for? He's got nothing useful to say. Do you, Dickie? Stop calling me that! And I told you to have an answer the door! Mr. Timmons? Look, can we just have a few words? I'm from Red Shirt Productions. You. But where are my manners? Do come in. We've so much to discuss. L lovely place you've got here. It's been a long time since they let you go. Really? <laughs> I hadn't noticed. We've got a situation. We've got no Tim. Yes. I've been watching. A true documentarian never stops rolling until it's finished. So what do you want to know? Well, um, first, what the bloody hell is going on? It's very difficult to understand. Ah, oh, it's the recap episode, gotcha. Fear not, Sir Bartimus will fill you in. Let's begin with Helsing Prime. Since the end of season two, he's led a rather more cheerful existence to say the least working in a fantastic independent comic book shop owned by Eddie Paskey. Remember him? He's the little red shirt that could, who not only survived two whole seasons, but went on to write an incredibly successful graphic novel based on their adventures in purgatory. Tim Helsing Uno was furious when he came back from the brink of existence, but has recently mellowed out significantly, which just might have something to do with the new lady in his life, one Jessica Ravenholm, who has recently moved in with him. They enjoy many activities together. Including epic Mario Kart battles, romantic walks in the moonlight, and of course, Monster hunting. Over the course of a year, I witnessed this sort of thing many times. It would seem there's no greater aphrodisiac than snapping the necks of your enemies. Fwaa! Then, of course, we have Helsing the Second and his doomed existence. 
After a brief yet murderous rampage, the demon jumped out of Tim and into Anamon Dragon. She spent the last year stampeding up and down the country with Tim in hot pursuit. I've read that Mephistopheles could jump back to hell whenever it likes, but it's having such a great time ruining Tim's life. <laughs> Poor old Tim arrives just a little too late and has tried to clean up the aftermath of Anastopheles' attacks as best he can. But it's starting to take a toll on our fearless hero. Can't fault his motivation though. It's some serious, grade A hero business he's got going on. A man lost to the darkness, yearning for a return to simpler, happier days. What do we do now? Well... <laughs> we have our budget, don't we? Yeah. Look! He must be nearby! What if he's all feral? What if he tries to attack us? What if he kills me? He hates you! Oh, it's all water under the bridge now. Besides, I've got my secret weapon. Apple! <laughs> oh god, that's fucking ominous. Right, you, eye patch guy, get in there and see what's what. Uh, I, I, I don't want to. Get in there or I'll hobble your grandparents. Uh, uh, then get me a coffee or I'll, I'll, I'll fuck you in the face with a salad fork. Prick! Oh, go on then! Move it! Scram! Goodbye, boy! Goodbye! Hi, Patch Guy! Are you alive? Didn't think so, so where are. Ooh, there he is. Jesus Christ, not you again. Piss off, Timmons. I'm in the middle of an exorcism here. Demetrius! Ego! Shit. I'm guessing he was one of yours then. I think that was Brian. You amateur. Don't worry about him, he's new. <laughs> now, Tim, when you're done with the exercise in the ghost, wherever it is, um, do you think we can have an inter- Oh! Oh my god, my nipple! The ghost twist! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? The ghost twist, my nipple! Be gone from this place, fiend. <sighs> this place is yours no longer. Pax et abiet. Dyson. <laughs> so, um, Helsing, can we possibly offer you breakfast? Oh. I don't like apples. Mephistopheles liked apples. I like cornflakes and bacon. Lots of bacon. Tim, all I want, all we want, is for you to come back to the show for a little bit. Look, there's a bigger budget now. No deal. How am I going to find Anna if I'm prancing about in front of you lot like a bloody tit? A bigger budget means more researchers, means more people to help look. All you got to do is sign. This, I am using with face chum ad, is a possessed, feral, demonic marmot! <laughs> I mean, surely that's attempted murder. Sign up for any of this bullshit, I'm gonna have serious words with Rain. Sweet Christ, what the fuck was that? It's like some kind of disgusting mutant. That's racist. Fuck off, Bernie! Oh, I've never been so proud. Should we interview them? Yes, that's a brilliant idea. Go out there and make me proud. You want me to do it? Yes, I believe in you. Nobody's ever believed in me. Hello, you dirty mutants, Martin Rogers. How are you? What are you doing? No, no, no. What? Oh, God! My wife, my wife, my wife! Get off me! No, 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 me! Put me down! Put me down, Bernie! Bernie, you bastard! Tim doesn't know is there's a marmot in his car.
into their fingers! No. You and me have been done professionally. No. Am I fired? Yes! Oh! No! Oh, my discount! Oh, the discount! Oh. <laughs> the triumph! Lock up your red shirts. Daddy's home.